And now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Keel. It has certainly been a gloomy start to your day here on Thursday. We've kind of been waiting on this rain to make its way into the QCA, but it's slowly been making progress. In fact, a lot of it has been weakening off to our west due to the fact that, yes, we've still had quite a bit of dry air over the QCA. Eastern Iowa, Western Illinois are here early this morning, but we do have a few showers getting into our western counties. Uh, certainly the heaviest of rain, even a few thunderstorms situated off to our south and west. So we zoom in here to uh, portions of Jackson County there right along Highway 61, Otter Creek, down toward the west side of Maquoketa, starting to see some light rain or moderate downpours around Oxford Junction as well as heading uh, down to the south toward Clarence and Tipton. We're also seeing some of that light rain. Nichols getting that light rain as well. Wilton, you've had a few sprinkles here so far about ready to get in on some rain as well. But it, what we're going to be watching very closely is what's going to be happening and moving in from our southwest here. So as this kind of moves in uh, really near this warm front, that's going to be where we need to watch for the potential of a few thunderstorms that develop here this afternoon as we're going to be getting into an environment where we haven't had much rain today. Temperatures have warmed up. Dew points have climbed as that warm front moves to the north. And that's where we have that threat for severe weather. In fact, I'm going to go move this bar a little farther here uh, off so you can see the highlighted area, which you can kind of see right here. But it's basically uh, the entire TV6 viewing area and points off to the east where we do have that highest risk for an isolated thunderstorm or two. Notice it's just a level one risk. So nothing widespread severe. But we are talking about the potential for maybe a damaging wind gust or or a large hail in a couple of these storms. Very low risk for a tornado, but it's not zero. So something that we need to continue to keep an eye on, especially uh, where that warm front does end up. So you can certainly see where we've had a thicker cloud cover in the rain this morning. Temperatures held back in the 50s. 55 right now in Maquoketa and Galena. 68 in Davenport. A few degrees warmer in Moline at 72. And look at Peoria at 80 degrees. A couple degrees cooler in Kiwani at 78. So it's going to be these areas on our Illinois side of the river where we need to watch for a couple of thunderstorms here as we head into the afternoon. Those will continue into the evening, but I think overnight we'll start to see those rain showers more than thunderstorms, and those will come to an end with eventual low temperatures getting in the upper 40s to the upper 50s as that cold front moves through. So areas that don't see that cold front until later, you know, it'll be a little warmer tonight in the 50s. All of us recover nicely to the lower to middle 70s here as we head into the afternoon hours on your Friday. A very comfortable day with a high right around 75 degrees in most locations. So exact track is showing again that band of rain here off to our west might be overdoing the activity just a bit, but you get the idea as we head into the afternoon. That's where we need to watch these storms right here uh, for maybe some gusty wind and hail as they continue to track off to the east. Again, this is the area that has not seen much rain yet, so their instability will be a little bit higher with that warm front moving through as we head after sunset. Really no severe weather threat. We're going to be talking about uh, areas of showers that will continue as we get that cold front to kind of move through. You see that wind shift line that's going to continue to track off to the east. And then as we head into tomorrow, we'll have a north wind keeping uh, those dew points comfortable. Temperatures comfortable as well in the 70s with plenty of sunshine. Heading into the day on Saturday, you'll notice uh, we will see an increase in cloud cover. Thunderstorms will be moving in from the west, but they will be decreasing in intensity. Could see a couple more of those pop up here as we head into the afternoon in early evening hours, so we'll fine tune Saturday's forecast here once we get through this afternoon's activity. But uh, looking through the weekend, overall not too bad. Highs in the 70s, and then we have uh, more active weather here next week as we get temperatures back in the 70s to near 80 degrees with off and on chances for some storms. So uh, definitely taking away the drought situation that we've had here over the last several months with all this rain. Yeah, but this month is more typical, really. It certainly is. Yeah, yeah. this is not really too uncommon for this time of year. Yeah. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Well, do you